watching half hour on television. Versetti. You remember me. Excuse me. I'm a little anxious. Never trust a goddamn horse. You do a good job. You work for me now. I work for money. As I said, amigo, you work for me now. I work Shut for up. Me. Some Judas has betrayed me. He thinks I don't know how much money I should be making. But stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one. You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later, we will kill him. This asshole thinks he can mess with me? If this is the best my city has to offer, this is going to be easy. Die at work. 
What if an enormous piece of machinery falls on you while you're working? Clothes lead to immorality. Nudity stops people from fighting. Have you seen an issue of National Geographic lately? People around the world are new. You don't want to shoot a machine gun or a howitzer or a flamethrower if you're naked. It could burn or scroll in quite a personal fashion, quite frankly. Have you been to the zoo? Animals are naked. If everyone were naked, they're... were naked, it would set a great example to everyone. You can direct traffic and donuts entirely in the bar. Maurice, this kind of immoral behavior is exactly why I'm building the Pastor Richard Salvation statue. Noah had an ark, Texans had the Alamo, and I am building a highly fortified structure in my image. Simple. This 50-story statue will be able to deflect alpha, gamma, and beta radiation. The day is coming and coming. completely self-sufficient community. We have canned food rations, private living quarters, and enough supplies to survive happily the predicted 40,000 years of nuclear winter. In phase two, and with funding from NASA, we will equip this massive statue with rockets. So when the poopy hits the proverbial fan, we will load up the statue with all of the people who save themselves through generous donations, blast into space, and colonize Saturn with a race of morally correct, affluent people ruled by me. Hmm, will there be naked people? No, turd brain. It's more like corrupt people like you we're shielding ourselves from. Liberals, degenerates, the Welsh. They're the ones responsible for the nightmare Vice City is today. The crime in the streets, the parties, the children born out of wedlock to a future of hope. Ah! Transgressions. <laughs> That's extreme stuff, Faster. What we'll leave amateur eugenics for a minute and ask our other panelists. Then you're a mom, so you know everything. What is your thought on all this? And do you think Pastor Richards stole his ideas from a movie or book? Well, yes, I am a mom. My kids are very special. So special, they go to special classes. Now, I teach my kids history to give them perspective. Last night I was telling them about how Magellan sailed around the Strait of Magellan and met some friendly natives 